Ivy League Gaming here, and today we're playing Watcher of Realms. For today's video, we're going to do a Hero Guide on Lassier. The finest blood for the most untainted soul. Alrighty, so I am here on the test server, not to be confused with the Forerunner server. And it's definitely not connected to the global server. This is a completely different server with resources to allow me to build and test and play with these fun new heroes that we keep on getting. So Lassier is one of our 10 times heroes uh, for the upcoming event this weekend. If you're watching this when it's going out and I'm quite excited. I think I want him more than I want Hex because, well, I just confirmed that he could 100% be my missing piece of the puzzle for pushing gear raid at stage 19 and well gear raid 1 stage 19 and beyond um i've been stuck for a while and a long while and it's just a matter of gear honestly because i'm a slacker at farming gear for a while now i'm i totally am slacking but it's so not motivational to farm gear when i'm so close to those stage 19s it just makes me not want to farm at all it's just really frustrating so I've kind of been doing the bare minimum and I've been slacking on my main account. But this is the this is the test server. And I've also been slacking at farming gear on the test server. Um, ideally, I wouldn't have to, but unfortunately, the rolls just aren't great. And we're trying our best. So this is the fun part. I used Mr. Lassier, uh here, aka Gear Raid 1. Kind of clutch hero. I used him in pretty mediocre gear. And well... I just cleared Gear Raid 1 Stage 19, and I am very happy with that. I've really struggled with clearing Stage 19 no matter what I've done. And I'm trying not to use Vierna um, as the key component, as that's the Captain Obvious, right? So, just so you know, we're going to be talking about Lassier and Gear Raid 1 as the main focus of this video. But I want you to know my comment up here. Uh, he is in about the same gear as Lassier. And well, Lassier did just about the same damage as Comet as well in my Gear Raid 1 19 that just was successful. And that was impressive enough on its own. So I'm like, okay, not only are you extra special for Gear Raid 1, which we're going to talk about, but you also can really pump out some unexpected damage. To be honest, I didn't think he was going to do a lot of damage. I just thought he was going to have his very wonderful ultimate skill be the key that helps everybody else be successful but you know what 800 percent aoe damage to enemies in range and inflicts anti-healing why did i not think that was going to be amazing of course it is of course it is so this is fully booked so let's go ahead and talk about uh lassier and his skills so first up we do have a talent basic attack and ominous sandstorm applies sand erosion on the target stacking up to three times each stack deals magic damage equal to 10% of the caster's attack per second. So exciting. All right. And then, yeah, the ultimate ominous sandstorm deals 100% AOE damage to enemies in range and inflicts anti-healing on them. And you know that lovely Elowin that shows up in Gear 8 stage, Gear 8 1, stage 19, 20, and 21 makes things a lot harder. It's already hard enough as it is. And well, she just keeps healing everybody. And he kind of prevents that from time to time. So he is wonderful and so much fun. All right. We have basic attack. Deals magic damage up to five enemies. Um, erosion domain auto. Every five seconds inflicts slow on adjacent enemies based on their sand erosion stacks. So we've got a little bit of slow in there too, which is great for some crowd control. And to pair with our Lord bonus as he is of the cultist faction. If you have more again, even better. Or Aeon, at least, even better. Or not even better than Morrigan, but you know, you can take advantage of the Lord bonuses. Even use the, the rare if you're desperate just for some overall stat bonuses. But yeah, really good. Really, really good. All right, and passive, when an enemy with three stacks of sand erosion dies within the basic attack range, grants another nearby enemy three stacks of sand erosion. This effect can be triggered up to one time every five seconds. So, uh, the biggest thing is obviously AoE damage and anti-healing. This is what he's all about. He is so good, and he he really 
is interesting here with sand erosion as well. This is like a damage over time. So I love his kit and you can totally see why he would excel in gear raid. Um, yeah, gear raid one. And when it comes to gear, you're going to gear him like any other DPS. My stats are terrible. I mean, they're pretty, they're just like the bare minimum of what you want. You want to hit like ideally 90 to 100% crit rate. I don't even have that. I got 83.5%. Only a little bit of crit damage on him, but at least I have double the attack. More than, more than double the att base attack is kind of the bone, the goal of like what you're aiming for for your extra stats here. Before you really stack up the crit damage. I could definitely use some improvements here. But you know what? It worked. Good enough. And honestly, it's really fun to see this work. Um, with all the characters I'm using for this battle. For Gear Raid 1 that I'm going to show you guys involving him. Um, it's the same. It's mostly the same characters I have on my account. And I couldn't beat Gear Raid. Um, yeah. Gear Raid 1-19 with who I have. Using the same exact strategy. But he just shows me he can be the key especially when i have everyone in lesser gear than what my account actually has so that's just a really good test and it makes me quite excited for this hero all right we, we should talk about awakenings here um anti so his awakening one deals 15 percent extra damage to targets with anti-healing oh that sounds great i would love that knowing how good his damage is now i would love an awakening one as well Basic um, attack increase with Awaken 2. Awaken 3 is just enhanced versions of his skills. And so it says after 10 seconds, um, or sorry, in 10 seconds after performing Ominous Sandstorm, the trigger interval of d Undead Erosion becomes one second. And each cast of it affects up to two enemies. And then all damage increase with Awaken 4 and Awaken 5. We have... Um, inflicts immobilize on enemies with three stacks of sand erosion when erosion domain is triggered immobilize unable to move another way to just crowd control the heroes which can be really helpful all right so i also have him with a tier of starlight which would probably be the optimal um artifact if you're lucky enough to pull one uh i do only have this at level 10 no fancy ascensions or anything just like if you pulled it and you leveled it up and be for sake of argument and kind of seeing how good he is compared to Comet, I actually put my Comet in the same thing. Um, that was really, really nice to see. So, all right, I do have him obviously fully promoted and yeah, pretty basic attributes. Again, nothing crazy for his details. So he is known, of course, as a multi-target hero with anti-healing. It's just this healing prevention is so key for success. So let's talk about where else Nasir might be good. Oh, Nasir might be good. So, obviously, promotion rate, anything with mages, fine. Anything AoE basic damage, great. Um, guild boss, you're not going to use mages and guild boss once, at least, sorry, AoE mages and guild boss. You don't have to worry about anti-healing there, so that's not the case. Same thing, artifact material raid, you don't need a mage there. Not needed. Tide, I mean, you could certainly use him as just a DPS in Tide, because you need... um. You need AoE, you need mages, It's he's definitely a solid option. He actually has really surprised me with his damage output. Same thing with the faction trials. There's definitely some spots there where you can use some mages. Um, I'm sure for his faction, the cultist faction, he's top tier in the faction trial just as a basic AoE damage dealer. Now, the gear raids. So, gear raid 2, you're... You, honestly, I'm actually surprised by him. I couldn't believe he did as much damage as my Comet in, like, the same gear setup. And so I, I feel like he might actually be a potential main DPS for Gear Raid 2. Uh, he actually came back to his ultimate way more often than my Comet did. His recharge was faster. And I feel like with that in mind, I think he might even be better than my Comet for Gear Raid 2 as the main DPS. He's no v he's, I'm sure he's no Vierna, let's be honest. But I was impressed with him a lot and he's one of my most wanted heroes now i'm actually quite happy gear raid three you're going to be using marksman you can get away with some mages of course too especially early on but that's not his specialty his specialty is gear raid one which is what we are going to do i cleared gear raid one stage 19 let's go ahead and disable power of dominance i was so happy to be able to clear this i've been struggling when i try to do these battles sometimes because again 
it's just gear at the end of the day. And now that I stopped doing my free to play for this game, the reason is I want to start trying to figure out a focus for <laughs> some of my uh, test server content and taking the time to have this account open and actually just grind it when I'm not doing other stuff. But life has been busy lately. So regardless of Watcher of Realms content, I've been so busy. So I haven't really got to do that yet. So I'm still stuck with pretty mag gear. But you know what? Stage 19, we can farm it now. So we're probably going to do that. We're probably going to do that. All right. So let's take a look. Uh, I might just leave this stage 19 and farm it when I'm done with this video, to be honest. <laughs> Let it actually kind of help my account get some better gear options. But all right. So the big thing with him, um, what makes Lassir so good is, of course, the dealing with her. Dealing with our lovely Elowin that comes up as an enemy. So stage 19, 20, and 21, that's when Elowin comes. 18, she is not there, not as hard to deal with. Stage 18, you can beat with a bunch of marksmen. You don't even need any mages, really, for stage 18. You can super easy get by. Uh, I was quite impressed at some other characters that you can use there. Even some of the fighters. But stage 19 gets harder and harder. You have more heroes with the, uh, where is it, heavy armor. The heavy armor really gets you. It's just these guys. Giant skeleton shielders. And then there's some big beefy dudes with just, yeah, with just a ton of um, stats. They're just tanky. This guy, this guy. The Komodos. And then these guys at the end. Oh my gosh, they're so big. And they do have some decent magic resistance. So that definitely is affecting how much damage our marksmen do. So keep that in mind too. But hey, that's what makes this hard, right? That's, that's, that's what's interesting about this. And the fact that we have this healer that we have to deal with. Well, that's what makes this his specialty. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a battle. I have no idea if I'm going to be able to do this successfully again. I might fail it, but I'm, even if I fail it, I'm going to show you the result because it's less about the success and just show, but really showing. Okay, it is about the success. I did it once. I know I can do it again, but my timings get messy sometimes. And yeah. So, all right, we're going to go in with this team. I am using Aeon, Aeon and a Soul Day just for their auras alone, just for their Lord bonuses, I mean. So we have a very cultist team here with uh, Lassier, Zealous, and Iona. I figure that's pretty relatable. A lot of people bought the Iona pack, or if you got lucky enough to pull her, there you go. And Zealous is one of those underrated heroes that probably deserves some love from us every once in a while. And we'll have Dolores to boost, of course. I also have Vortex in here for heals. We are going to use Autumn, the rare, to boost our crit rate and crit damage. That is going to be huge help for this battle. With that in mind, I probably should have turned down people's crit rate a little more and focused a little more crit damage or attack, but I don't want to rely on that 100% of the time, so I left it as is. And I did bring in Elowin. I have Elowin and Comet. I'm bringing in both of them because that's what I have on my account, and I felt like I wanted to see, like, if I'm using almost the same team I'm using on my account that I just cannot get through stage 19 with, is he the missing piece of the puzzle? So, and Comet is great for gear rate 19, but man, Fierna is still just so much better, especially if you have Aeon and or Morrigan. So, he's still the lesser option, I feel like. Maybe not 100%. He's he is great. But I was actually very impressed with Lassier, and that's why I had to make a video. I wasn't sure if I was going to, but here we are, a proper guide for Lassier to show where he really shines. So, we're going in here with Lassier. And Comet as my main DPSs. We're going to use Autumn to boost their crit rate and crit damage. We're going to use Dolores to inspire and boost everybody's attack and damage. And we're going to use Elowen for her heal and rage regen. Now the Lords are just there for their Lord bonus. We're not actually using them. So this is the core. This side is my core. So we're ready. We're going to pop everything. Boom. We're going to pop them all. And now we can start working on my other side. So first I want to place my healer. So that way, as I place other people on that side, they don't die. <laughs> All right, let's just throw in our extra Elowin uh, summons. I don't even know what I should call them. Are they summons? All right, let's use Zealous. We're going to use Zealous and Iona. So Zealous is going to be great. He puts the vulnerability. Iona's going to help with the slows as well. I also have Zealous in a blue, what is it? Blue sea ice ring. All right, we popped everything. Let's go. Pop, 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 pop. Damage is 
hopping. Oops, I almost forgot Iona. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Keep going with that damage. Yes. I'm a little late on the heal there. I might have timed that just a little off. But even still, we're killing him. This is so nice to see. And look at I'm already back to Lassier's ultimate. He comes back to his ultimate so much faster. And I was really not expecting that. All right, let's wait for these guys to come around. Then let's pop everything. All right, let's go. We're going to pop that. We're going to pop that. And now we're going to pop Comet and Iona. And I'm going to make sure I'm healing up over here. I think we're good, though. All right, now we're going to be ready to go. We have killed everything. I didn't even need to do all that. We didn't even need to do all that. And now we're just ready and waiting and recharging for these big guys. So actually, I, I was total overkill with my ultimates. So I didn't even need that. But it's fine. We'll be ready. Look at him. Lassier ready again with his ultimate right next to me here. Right next to me here, Lassier is just like, I'm ready. Let's go. Let's freaking party, bitches. Let's go. Oh, I was a little late for Comet. I should have waited a couple more seconds. But I think we'll be fine. And this is just a beauty. It's a thing of beauty. I am using gear where all I have is like barely double the attack of the hero. Their base stats for the bonus. I am only using like 80 to 90% crit rate. And I don't have more than 100% crit damage on anybody. I'm not even exaggerating. I wish I was. I wish I was exaggerating. All right, come on, come on. We got to prevent that heal. There we go. Boom. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, it's so close. So close. My timing was just really bad. I wasted the ultimates on the other one when I did not need to. I should have saved them. But let's just take a look here. Look at the damage. Look at that damage. So once I, when I beat it the other, just the last round, um, I had 41 and 40,000 for damage. He is keeping up with Comet's damage. I did not expect that, honestly. I just thought, I thought, I mean, I don't know why I didn't expect it. But the fact that he comes back to his ultimate more often, I feel like I need to time things a little bit differently. But it's so good. I need to time it. I need to time his ultimate better with Yona's skills. Like, that's kind of the point, right? But wow, like, I did not expect this. So I just have a zealous and Iona in there as a little extra help, but man, they barely did anything. But I also have to give the shout to Autumn. I couldn't do this without Autumn. The extra boost of stats is just huge. So this is just so impressive, and I'm really happy to see it. And to show you guys I'm not crazy, I figured I would continue another run right after. Actually, why not? Might as well show you guys one more. Okay. So that I just had a very smooth ending. That last wave, and... We're going to pop everything. Let's go. Let's go, people. Let's go, boys and girls. We are ready to fly. Popping everything. Unloading. Here we go. That is a thing of beauty as we see all of those bars go down. Elowin's coming closer. Now we're going to get to kill her, too. I am going to wait for that, actually, really quick, if I can. All right. No, we're going to go ahead and use her his skill really quick. But that's fine. Here we go. Comet smash. Let's go. Let's go so close. Come on. Don't let them go. Don't let them go. We got this. Come on, team. We got this. Go, team. <laughs> Come on. Go, team. Go. Go, team. Go. We're so close. The wall's going to go down. Oh, my God. Way to stress me out. Now I'm just popping everything, and I'm being bad about this. Go, Iona. Go. Unless <laughs> I rely on Iona. But it's so much better. I'm just popping everything as it's ready because I'm in desperation mode. Which was silly, but hey, we're fine. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Go, go, go. Kill them really quickly. Oh my god. <laughs> there we go. We got it. We got it. So it's okay. It was allowed to get a little messy at the end there. We're still fine. We're still fine. They just gotta kill this one dude. Who just doesn't want to die, apparently. How does he just not want to die? He doesn't want to die. Comet, get him. Oh, he's not in the range of Comet. That's why he's not dying. <laughs> he's like just out of the range of Comet. No wonder why it took forever to kill him. But yeah, there you go. There's the success. <laughs> oh, there's a success right after. I felt weird not showing a success. When I'm trying to say that he is a key to get the success, right? So, yeah, 44. Okay, he, yeah, he did 44. And 43. <laughs> what is happening? 
Look at that. He did more than Comet that time. As you can see at the end, Comet just was not in range of that one stupid min uh, enemy. But yeah, there you go, guys. I am so impressed with La Seer. I did not expect that. Oh, and it's my very first fancy piece of gear. It might be on the test server, but I still feel fancy. And now I really want to get him more than ever before. But yeah, that's all for today's video, guys. I have no reason to really show La Seer in Arena or anything else. This is kind of the point. This is his place. And yeah, I am pulling. I might rage spend. I want him. Um, and I'm gonna hopefully get one of my own. <laughs> Maybe we'll get a hex too, but yeah, love the character a lot. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.